Man, there's a big old stain on this lab bench. Gotta clean it up. Cause my students won't clean up after themselves. You know who you are. But you know what? I think I'd much rather do a simple physics problem about calculating work than to clean up this stain. <laughs> let's do it. Indeed, let's get started. We have ourselves a stain. This stain must be moved a distance of 0 0.0150 meters in order to be removed from the lab bench, obviously. <laughs> and we have our formula for work here. Work is equal to the force times distance. So in simpler terms here, we have force times distance, okay? One thing that you need to know is that force is a unit of newtons, okay? And distance is always going to be in a unit of meters. Now, some of the more difficult physics questions has you converting uh, one unit to another, something you need to know how to do anyways. And in this case, though, I'm not going to give that to you. I'm not going to make it difficult. So we have, this is the distance that we require. I'm just going to go ahead and say that this distance, okay, we already have this picture here, 0 0.0150 meters. That is how far we have to push that stain to get it off of the lab bench. Let's pretend that it is going to require 50,000 newtons in order to do so. Right, because it's a tough stain. It definitely wouldn't require that many Newtons if my students would just clean up after themselves. But whatever, such is life. 50,000 Newtons moving a distance of 0 0.0150 meters. Totally obvious. Okay, so in order to do a math problem like this, a physics problem, I love to write down what is given, okay? And what is given is super, super important because I'm organizing my my thoughts here. I already know that I need to figure out how much work and that work will be measured in something called joules or a newton meter. Obviously because a newton times meter is or distance, newton times meter is, uh, is, is a joule is the form of work. So how much work is it going to take me to scrape this big old stain off my lab bench? Well, let's calculate it. We have the formula. Now let's plug in these numbers. 50,000 newtons times 0 0.0150 meters. This will equal a grand total of 750 joules of work. I dare you to check my work. Fine, do it. Okay. This is how much work we have to do. Now, this is one of the most simple physics equations, is calculating work. But the basic principle, writing down what is given, this is what's required, analyzing this formula, and then solving the problem in an organized way like this will get you any physics answer, so long as you just know how to draw a stain and clean up after yourself. There you go. Simple, easy, quick. I guess the only thing else you need to do now is practice. Good luck.